Hello and welcome to Slate Aspire. Well, we are in the city now. Uh, we can check it out at the top. Or wherever it is. We killed the first boss. And uh, it's time to go maybe over there. Or over there. I don't know. Maybe maybe over there. That, let's go there because it's a question mark. Actually, we're going to get a question mark. It's kind of the same thing. You've got to have one enemy plus a question mark. So let's just go over here. Oh boy, a lot of chickens. Flying chickens? They look kind of stupid. Intends to use a buff. Reduce attack damage taken by 50%. Cancel the dealt attack damage three times in one turn. Really? So we gotta deal less damage to it? Wow, that kind of sucks. Okay, let's draw a card. Oh, three times. So if you actually have abilities uh, that deal damage to it multiple times, that's just really damn good. That's kind of what makes sense to me. <clears throat> also, uh, like a multi-target attack would make sense here. Kaka! Strength. Kaka! Strength again. Oh my god, these guys have very annoying voices. Bludgeon. That's maybe too much. Damn. They're getting hit pretty hard. Okay, I kind of want to uh, save the twin strike. If we can. Maybe we can't. Probably we can. Damn it. That's kind of bad. Okay, well, how do we manage this? Well, I can I can bludgeon. <laughs> I can bludgeon this guy. Okay, that's a bit of an overkill. Let, let's just be real there. Uh, we can also try to defend. But, yeah, this is gonna attack us free. What if I just drop the bird down? Let's, let's try that. Twin strike. Okay, it actually went down quite a bit. Okay, it's not gonna attack me for uh, a whole lot anymore. Uh, I can bash. So, making sure that they are not flying is pretty important. Now, at this point, do we wanna defend just to take less damage or just make uh, the guy in the back vulnerable? Because I'm th thinking that could be better. At this point, it's not great because we're gonna take a bunch of damage. But I think ultimately that's the smart move. Oh, that was actually two damage five times. Uh, wow, that would be good with the flame barrier. Uh, let's just flame barrier anyway. That's gonna basically negate all the damage that they're gonna do. We can flex as well. I don't know if I want a hemo. That almost kills the one in the back. 17. Actually, let's just kill the one in the back now. Uh, let's just defend. I don't know if I'm ready to take some damage here. Probably I should be. Oh, it's flying again? Jesus. Alright, the one in the back is dead, so you gotta be da damn careful. Because now they're flying again. Jesus. Oh, probably that's not the guy I should have prioritized. The bludgeon. <laughs> but if not that, what, what are we actually doing? I can just defend plus strike. Alright, let's do that. But that that's just gonna go down. Alright, let's go with that. Oh, actually I could have... Uh, Lowered his damage by uh, bashing him down. Okay, we can flex. Uh, now, can we, now we can strike this guy. Almost strike the one in the front. Uh, strike is not gonna be enough. Uh, it looks like we are dealing with a tougher encounter here. Or they I kind of lost my. One fourth of my HP. Maybe because I'm a noob. Twin strike? Uh, strike maybe? Can I just bash him? Rest in peace, bird! Okay, we can add the card to the deck. <clears throat> Deal. 14 damage and applies 
Weak for three turns. That's already an upgraded card. That we can see from the plus. So let's just pick that one. Let's proceed. Oh. Okay, we're going through a another monster. It's a big ball guy. Uh, negates three debuffs. Okay. Block is removed at the start of the turn. Enemy intends the block. This is not great because it negates the debuff. Are we gonna lose 2 HP? Uh, just to deal a crap ton of uh, damage? Would it lose its uh, its armor? I don't know. How much armor are you getting? 25. Yeah, we're gonna get attacked. Maybe we're just gonna defend. I, I'm not really looking forward to getting hit. Bash. That's a lot of damage. That's, that's a lot of damage. Why are we so strong? Oh, the next attack deals double damage. Okay. That makes sense. <clears throat> okay, let's just bash him. And defend. Those defends are not the best. But I'm not really looking forward to taking damage here. Okay, he's going for an attack again. I think we can take him out. Bludgeon. Let's bludgeon him. <laughs> Rest in peace! Oh shit. I never used the potions. Now we got an extra potion. Fire potion. Exhaust all status and cursed cards from your hand. Removed until end of combat. Oh yeah. Status. Uh, that could be good, I suppose. Poison creatures lose HP at the start of that turn. Each turn, poison is reduced by one. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we don't want to poison? We want to have a fire potion? Let's see what we get. Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. Okay, power... Power is something that stays on. That... Okay, I got one card that makes me lose HP. Or gain strength permanently for one power. But in order for this to be worth it, you would need to attack a lot of times. Exhaust a random card in your hand and block for seven. I don't know if you, if you want that. <sighs> ah, this is better than my block, so I guess we're gonna take it. Alright, let's just go toward the question mark. Scaling the city, you notice a wall covered uh, in the writings of the ancients. As you try to warp your head around what the puzzling symbols and glyphs could mean, the writing begins to glow. Suddenly, the message becomes clear. Remove a card from your deck or upgrade all strikes and defense. Holy shit! Huh? I got a lot of those. As much as I would love to remove them, I think if we do that, then we can... We can uh, postpone their removal quite a bit. Well, 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 for example, a pommel strike is a lot better than the strike. Even the upgraded strike. The upgraded strike is just 9. So, like, who cares about that? It sucks. It's a tough one. This is better in the long term. This is better in the short term. I don't know. I think we might just try to play the long game here. And remove a card from my deck. And we're gonna remove either a strike or a defend. Let's just remove a defend. Yeah. Uh, did I remove the defend? Yeah, I did. Okay. We're just playing the long game here. In front of you sits an altar to a forgotten god. Atop the altar sits an ornate female statue with arms outstretched. She calls out to you, demanding sacrifice. You don't have golden idol. Gain max HP, but lose temporary HP. Okay. What? Why would I do that? That just doesn't make too much sense to me. Okay, if you cannot afford to lose, 
uh, temporary HP that I guess you need to desecrate. Okay, we're doing that. You stand on the altar and cut your wrists. As the blood spills out in sacrifice, the arms of the statue reach out and close around your eyes. Everything goes dark. You wake up a short time later, feeling a new potential struggling, surging uh, through you. Okay, more question marks, I love them. You come across an ornate building which appears abandoned. A plaque uh, that has been torn free from uh, a wall is on the floor. It reads, The Library. Inside you find countless rows of scrolls, manuscripts and books. You pick one and cozy yourself into a chair for some quiet time. Some quiet time. Okay, choose one of 20 cards to add to your deck. Or heal. I don't know, we might want to heal here. <laughs> okay, let's just heal. I don't know, maybe one of 20 cards. Okay, let's just heal. Fuck it. We need help. Then we're gonna upgrade a card here. Yeah. Let's go over here, upgrade one of our cards. Do we have cards that we wanna upgrade? Like the Twin Strike, maybe the Bludgeon. How, how good it becomes? 42. Why not? That seems like a good one. It's probably, we're not gonna get rid of the Bludgeon anytime soon. What else we got here? Flex? It becomes twice as good. It seems like a good one to me. Because... Well, especially you got a bunch of uh, attacks. Well, we gotta consider the efficiency here. Right here, we get uh, 4 for 1. Here we get 10 for 3. But... If you really wanna attack, I suppose this is a good way to do it. But I suppose dealing more damage, if you're dealing, uh, like, damage multiple times is just better. Wow, this is just... Well, exhaust a random card in your hand. Exhaust a card in your hand. Okay. I didn't realize it was random in the first place. But these are just kind of crappy. Bash, vulnerable. Let's just go for bludgeon. This is more likely to stay in my deck for some time. And we're going up against the boss. What is this? This enemy intentions are unknown. That wants to attack me. Abandon combat without their leader. Oh, really? Minion. So as long as I kill the big dude, we're good. I can flex. And try to take out the big guy. Now that's 18 damage right over there. Like, hemokinesis doesn't really make too much sense here anymore. Flame barrier. That's not flame barrier. Because he intends to block and use a buff. So we gotta... Do we just try to take out the, the big guy? It's not completely unviable. Maybe they're just gonna heal him. Took some damage. Don't ever give up. What's going on here, guys? Oh, they're gonna attack me. But the defense sucks. The, actually, these old suck. What the fuck? I'm weakened. The small guys have some armor. I'm gonna defend. We're just trying to take out the big dude. Here it comes. Smash. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Probably should have taken out the small ones. What the fuck? That needs to die. Right now. <laughs> Seriously? 28 damage? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I'm still vulnerable. I'm still weakened. I don't know if I... I don't think I can do it. I don't think that can be done. Like, even if you deal like... 9... Plus 6... That's no way. No way we have enough. 
6 plus 9 plus 6. Twelve. Oh, that's twenty-one, right? We're fucked. <laughs> We're really fucked here. Okay, let's bash the big dude. And defend twice. Okay, next time we're killing the small ones. This is just unacceptable. Ultimate blast. And we need to go for a heal. Now what? It's so much. I'm weakened non-stop. I think flame barrier makes a lot of sense here. Well, I guess we gotta do that. So he's gonna deal less damage. I don't know. I, I think at this point I just gotta commit to my initial strategy. But I'm non-stop beaconed because of this sucker. I think we're just gonna die. <laughs> Will we? Flex. 33. 36. He's no longer gonna take extra damage, right? No. Plus, I'm gonna take him out. Intentions unknown. Okay. We gotta defend once. And bludgeon the big guy once. And we're just gonna hope to take him out next turn. And hope to not die this turn. Oh, actually I'm dumb. Why am I not using the bloody potions? Get him, boys. Okay, at this point it's kinda pointless, so... Uh, I'm just really hoping that... They're just gonna run away like they said they would. We're gonna run away. Oh my god, we are in a terrible spot. What is that? Juju's bracelet? Regular enemy combats are no longer encountered in... Question mark rooms. Oh, that's good. Add the card to your deck. Obviously, this should be the prime one. Gain one vulnerable. <sighs> Do we want this? It would take more damage. That's that's a lot. Making ourselves vulnerable seems like a, a perfectly good way to die. But we attack for free. No, we can just do that with Clash. I think I'm just gonna pick up Clash. I don't know. Wait, no, nah, this is the upgraded version. I don't know, guys. Reckless charge. Not like we can sell it. Oh boy. These are all zero uh, mana. Is this any good? It seems like... It seems pretty fucking reckless. Deal extra damage. I, I, I suppose it can be used as a finisher. It's not as situational, but like... Unless you know for a fact that your opponent is gonna... Uh, defend next turn, but you don't know that. And if you're if you you're just running into a extra damage round, it's just game over for you. I think it's gotta be clash or maybe like flex. I just go with clash. Let's proceed. Oh my god. Heal. Yes. Oh, dreaming. <coughs> maybe. Deal free damage to random enemy three times. That's not so bad. When you play on attack this turn, gain 4 block. Random enemy, that's kinda bad because you don't really know who you're gonna attack. I'll, I like this twin strike. Draw 2 cards, place a card from your hand on top of your draw pile, exhaust. That seems like a good one. Yeah, I, this is like no, no really downside to it. Whenever you pl play and attack this turn, gain 4 block, but this is like no 
This basically just gives you two cards for one once. This is just fine. Proceed. Get a lot of health. Chest. If you end your turn without block, gain six block. Until next turn, prevents damage. Oh, right! Really? We're definitely not skipping the relics. What's the point in skipping relics? Oh, let's go toward the shop. I don't think I generally... I, I usually... I want to go toward the shop. We can go toward here. So we're gonna go with fight, question mark, rest. So if we go, this, go down this path, we're gonna have two question marks, two fights, and uh, two rests. This path, two rests, one shop, and uh, one question mark. So one last question mark. This is just straight up worse for us because we need to stay the fuck away from uh, death. So let's just go over here. And maybe, I don't think we can heal up at the shop. Oh, let's do that. So, a twin strike is on sale. Draw... Deal free damage, draw a card. Card removal service? Oh, let's do that. What is this? Raise your max HP by 10. Uh, whenever you have no cards in your hand during your turn, draw a card. Uh, that could be cool. First time you lose HP each combat, draw three cards. Um, oh, th these are the elixirs. Okay. Card removal service. These are decent. That's on sale. Very cheap. But you might need to... We might need to pay to get rid of it later. Assuming we don't lose right now. Card removal service. Oh, shit. Let's remove a weak card. Like a strike. Okay, let's go with that. Choose an attack from your draw pile and place it into your hand. Draw pile. Okay, not the discard pile. That's a one-time thing. So this is not bad. It doesn't... It's not something that's just gonna come back. Flash of Steel seems like it's gonna come back. It's just basically free damage. Because you just replace it with a card. And there's nothing wrong with this. A secret weapon. Nothing particularly amazing, but... What is this? Raise max HP by 10, but does it actually give us... Uh, more current HP as well? Because that could matter quite a bit. But if you have no cards in your hand... I don't know, guys. Well, it, it says max HP, so... Probably we just gotta assume that is the case. I don't know the secret if the secret weapons matters too much here. Well, I just try to go for like a pair, raise max HP. Did we get more HP? I think we did get more HP. And I think that's all we can afford at this point, so get the fuck out of here! Uh yeah, we're definitely going toward the the smooth ride. <clears throat> Navigating an unlit street, you come across several hooded figures in the midst of some dark ritual. As you approach, they turn to you in an eerie unison. The tallest among them bears thang teeth and extends a long, pale hand towards you. Join us, brother, and feel the warmth of the spire. Remove all strikes, obtain five bites, that still kind of suck. I lose a bunch of max HP. I don't think so. I don't want to lose max HP. You step back and raise your weapon in defiance. The tall figure sighs. <laughs> Very well. The entire group of hooded figures morph into a thick black fog that flows away from you. You're alone once more. Well, fuck vampires. I'm off. You guys suck. Literally. <clears throat> Alright, we're going toward the boss. What's over here? Please don't kill me. Uh, oh, never mind that. Bludgeon. Can we just murder the guy in the back? Ooh, we're gonna get hit. 
But I think murdering one of them is just so damn good. <clears throat> Let's just draw a card first. Uh, that's not the best. If we, if we want to murder the one in the back, I don't know what it's gonna do, but intense to buff. I think we need to go all out. <clears throat> oh, actually, if you end your turn without block, you gain 6 blocks. So we should not use a block whatsoever if if we are, like, at least one block. Ooh, this is actually pretty bad. Well, we're obviously gonna flex. Deal damage and apply... Draw two cards, place the card from your... Okay. That's a skill. From your hand on top of your draw pile. Uh, I don't know what we want to place at the top of the draw pile. So we're gonna draw two cards first. And this is a block. I think we might want to place the block there. <clears throat> Maybe the Divine Strike. I kind of want to block. Do I want to make him weak? I kind of want to make him weak. But I also want to make him vulnerable. I think I want to make uh, him more vulnerable than weak. I don't know, this is tough. <clears throat> so, obviously we want to use the defend, or get rid of the defend. Because we want to use clash. That's for damn sure. And if we make him vulnerable, then that's actually going to make it a lot better. We do not have the uh, capability to kill him, or do we? So we can deal 10. And this would be like 20. And, uh, yeah, we don't have the capability to kill him. Uh, let's just, uh, kick this. Yeah. <clears throat> Bash him. Can we strike him? Defend and clash. We can't quite kill him, but, uh... <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. These regular dudes are just pretty damn strong. Uh, I don't know. Obviously, we prioritize murdering him now. We don't need to make him weaker, just kill him with whatever. Oh, we didn't use a potion again, damn it. <clears throat> Lose 4 HP, gain 2 mana, and draw 3 cards. That's only one once in a fight. I don't know. Iron Weave plus gives us block and damage. That's 14. I like that. I don't this is a uh, more of a niche one. I don't know. I just go with Iron Weave. That, that's just a good uh, option. But we're obviously taking the gold. Like, come on. What what reasoning would I have to not take the gold? <clears throat> we need to rest. Ooh. Oh my god. Am I dreaming? So this is a 14. This is a 11 plus draw a card. That could be good. But are we willing to give up some? Sweet, sweet. Uh, damage for that. Or deal free damage to a random enemy four times. So this is like a 12. Uh, I suppose it scales really well with strength. Ooh, this is really good. This is actually better than just, uh... Just crafting something. I don't know. Like, as long as we can get some strength, we are just... This fourth boomerang is just really damn good. I don't know if we want the iron wave. Like, by itself, the iron wave is the best. If, even if we get, like, two buff, and this is, like, 20. And this is only, uh, <clears throat> 16. If you get two buff on them. And this is just, like, of course, if you want to cycle your cards, then uh, shrug it off. It's just really damn good with that. I I'm, I'm split here. I think these are both really good. I think this might have a better combo potential. This, of course, this doesn't really have single... Like, this doesn't have focus. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> I just get the Sword Boomerang. I'm, I'm curious about that card. Probably need to rest again. Big Chicken. And a Chosen. <clears throat> Powerful negative effect on me. 
Flame barrier. We're not gonna do that. Do I wanna draw a card? Oh, let's do that. Oh, we gotta put something at the top. <clears throat> I don't know what that will be. Are we putting the <laughs> emo? Ah, oh, this kinda sucks. And we're not gonna use the flame barrier. They're gonna hit us next turn. Let's just put that on the top. Alright, we're gonna use flex. We're gonna blast this dude. Uh, that's... Wow, that's actually pretty damn good now. <clears throat> well, we're obviously gonna iron wave. Oh, what the fuck? How does it 40 damage? Oh, because... The next attack deals double damage. Oh, I see. I see that. How about that? 60. Do you like that? Yeah, we got we gotta use the iron wave. That just straight the better than the strike. <clears throat> Alright, pretty good. What else we gotta deal with? Suffer. Hex. Whenever you play a non-attack card, shuffle one dazed into your dropa. Damn. Can we just uh attack? Oh, it's gonna stay on. <clears throat> hmm. He's weakened. I think we need to finish him off with this. So just a uh, flash of steel, the bird. Ah, clash is not gonna work. We're just gonna flame barrier. <clears throat> I guess we're just gonna take that damage. Well, actually, we're gonna tank it. Alright, birdie. Time to go down. Twin strike. Sword boomerang. This should be good, right? Isn't this the birdie that just goes down? Execution! Rest in peace, birdie. Add a card to your deck. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I see. Deal damage equal to your current block. What? That's for zero? Or gain block and draw a card? <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not that crazy about block right now. Ah, uh, that seems like a good one to me. We rarely have crazy block. But this is really good if you have the block. I don't know. Let's just go shrug it off. We're definitely taking the gold. Uh, good question. Do we rest before the boss? I'm just thinking, you know, we don't want to rest yet. Do we want to rest yet? <clears throat> Are we dreaming? Deal 14 damage and apply weak. I think that's a good one. <clears throat> We're gonna add that to the deck. Proceed. Alright, boss. Time to meet your maker. What the fuck? <clears throat> We're getting hit to 10. Uh, give me a card. <clears throat> Ooh, we can apply a on him? That's nice. Sadly, we are not using bludgeoning. <clears throat> Do I want to make him vulnerable right now? And maybe just follow it up with some funny things? Let's apply Veek for free turns. Only for two turns, though. But that's still a pretty good one, right? Okay, let's just bash him. <clears throat> and I'm gonna get some armor. Because I didn't use armor. Frail and vulnerable? Oh, crap. <clears throat> if I use all my skills... Wait, what? Last block from cards for two turns? Oh crap. Hmm. Wait, what? When do you receive attack damage? Deal. Oh yeah, flame barrier. <clears throat> Don't I want to use just some of the potions? Exhaust all the status from your hand? Uh. Bro. 
So I can use this for free. <clears throat> that has to be ever gonna use it. Like seriously. Uh, okay, let's just uh, punish him as much as possible. <coughs> <clears throat> Please don't murder me! Okay, this is a pretty tanky guy. Right, we can do this, and we're not gonna take damage. Actually, we gotta take some damage. No matter what. I think we should just pummel strike first. But if we don't do anything, we're just gonna get 6 block. Okay, let's draw a card. Mmm. <clears throat> And do we take free here, just to completely negate his attack, or do we just deal some damage? I think we gotta deal some damage. <coughs> After this fight, we're gonna get back or our health. Fail and frail and vulnerable. Okay, what the fuck is that? They get <laughs> negative effect on me. Jeez, I'm not the best at blocking. Draw two cards, place the card from your top of the thing gate. I don't know what we're gonna exhaust. I gotta place a card. Okay, just give me two cards. Uh I don't I don't know. Actually I kinda wanna have the bash right now. What I what I play next turn? <clears throat> I kind of wanna play bash. Uh twin strike. Maybe Iron Wave is what we'll have next turn. It's true grit. Ah, crap. We got some crappy cards. Yeah, let's go with that. I would like to exhaust the defense. How much damage is this gonna be? Only four? Oh. Actually, it doesn't scale this, this crazily. 50% more rounded down. Okay. So this is only 16, and this is actually uh, 14. <clears throat> but it's not upgraded. The upgraded version is, I believe, uh, 20. Right? I think I'm right. It's 14, rounded. It's like 21 ish. But it's rounded down to like 20. Okay, interesting. Wait, what? Why do I have so many <laughs> action points? I, okay, whatever. Okay, we exhausted the defense because that kind of sucks. I don't want to draw into that anymore. Have a free shot, PewDie Vig. Come on, I don't suck. Okay. <clears throat> so he is vulnerable, but not weak. So let's make him weak. Just hit him. Now we don't really care about that, but that's still the best attack. <clears throat> Alright, you're weak now. What now? Oh, he's bumping his strength. Oh my god, we're gonna get hit for more. We're obviously flexing. <clears throat> now the only question is, do we... Oh my god, what? Oh, because my next attack deals double damage. Let's go with bludgeon. Mm. Well, strike is not the best. I can shrug it off or just uh, strike. If we strike, we're gonna get some uh, free armor at the end of the turn. <clears throat> this could be really good if you get more of it. You can just keep attacking and just get some uh, free block every time. Um, well, we only have one skill. Flash. <clears throat> Looks like I won't be able to play Clash here. Alright, just go.
go with regular attacks here. <coughs> that was actually worse than my uh, relic. Defeat impossible. What? Oh my god, it got strong. Okay, we got back our cards. We are weaker, frail, whatever. I still can't do this. I uh, just go attack him with whatever we got. That's it. It would be nice to exhaust something. <clears throat> Face my rat. Am I facing your rat? Okay, I'm dealing double damage now. So, oh my god, we're getting hit super hard. <clears throat> Do we want a flame barrier here? I think we kind of want to do that. Okay, so you gotta keep this in mind. We're gonna have flame barrier. Then we can clash. Then we got a flash of steel. And that's all we got. We're getting hit hard. Wow, that was a lot of damage. <clears throat> Maybe we can finish him off now. Bludgeon. Rest in peace, night. Oh my god. Uh, almost strike. That's it! The champion is down! Sure, if I push him, add a card to my deck. Double tap this turn, your next attack is played twice. Oh, this is really good with the bludgeon. Oh, it's just pretty good overall. Or not, not necessarily with the... Uh, yeah, not, not necessarily with everything though. <clears throat> it's not bad. Venerable card is exhausted, draw one card. That's the power that just stays on, removed until end of... I don't know about that one. Brutality. At the start of your turn, lose one HP and draw one card. Uh, do we care about that? I think we're just gonna go double tap. Hard to go wrong with that. <clears throat> oh, big chest! Give me that. Gain a mana at the start of each turn. Whenever you open Numbers chest, obtain a curse. Crap. Really? Curse cards are negative cards that stay in your deck. Draw two additional cards each turn. Start each combat confused. What's confused? Whenever you draw a card, randomize its cost. Holy crap. That's bad. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. Uh, okay. Draw one less card each turn. That's bad. That's these are all bad. They're, aren't they? <clears throat> non boss chests trash my hand or draw more cards but start the combat with confused. That means like my one mana spells can just cost so much. This could be good if you're running a, a bunch of expensive cards. This is really not that good if you're running a bunch of cheap cards like I do. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand, but draw one less card each turn. Does this really matter though? Because we use up the best cards always, so this feels like a negative, this feels like a negative, and this could be a positive until you're fully loaded with curses. So probably the curse key is the least bad. And proceed. The Beyond, Act 3. But this is a good enough time to take a break, so thanks for watching guys, and see you next time.